Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending this presentation. My name is Manuel Casal and I am a predoctoral fellow at the University of Vigo. Today, I'm going to present you our work entitled Design of a Novel Respiratory Device for Neonatal Patients. We're going to divide this presentation in three main points, which are the introduction, the design process, and finally the conclusions. Respiratory complications are among the main conditions treated in neonatal intensive care units, with oxygen, th oxygen therapy techniques being the most frequently used for their treatment. There, there, there are some problems as the currently device use are not enough adapted to the specific needs of neonatal patients, causing them septum injuries, ulcers, etc and also hinders healthcare workers' care, care tasks. For that reason, our main goal here is to design an ergonomic device adapted to the needs of newborns and healthcare workers. We start by compiling the requirements, the user requirements. Uh, with, with, in order to do it, we have started from a period of work by some of the authors with 55 answers taken in the Complejo Hospitalario Universitario de Urense. That information was, were, uh, was improved, uh, expanded with new information coming from, from the opinions from healthcare staff from the Hospital Albert Cunqueiro de Vigo and knowledge of the authors in the field of study. We have here some examples that the device should not cause skin ulcers of, or irritation should be adapted to the anatomy of newborn babies, should be easy to use at position, and the device can be adapted to other medical treatments or activities. With this information, we determined several alternatives that were used to develop several concepts that can be seen in figure one. We have here the description, for example, a B, a CPAP mask, the first one is a nasal CPAP mask and the other is a oronasal CPAP mask, both with a cordial twin pipe. We have C, that is a nasal cannula interface with a flexible twin pipe, and D, that is a nasal cannula interface with, with a single pipe. Well, if you, if you are interested, you can pause the video to check them in detail. These concepts were filtered to determine which, which are the best uh, in, to, to meet the, the user requirements. And for that, we have used the analytic hierarchy process. Uh, we have in the figure one the, the hierarchy that was established for filtering them. Uh, the results show us that B and C were the best ones that are AGB and AAP, and they were taken for further improvement. So they were uh, redefined, uh, refined, um, with the aim of improve the previous designs as much as possible. They were evaluated, taking into account a quantitative method, in this case the PUCS matrix, in order to find out which one best fits the considered requirements. If you are interested, you can pause the video to check in detail the figure one with the improved devices, uh, with improved concepts. Uh, but finally, uh, the, the best one was AAP+, plus, that it was considered to be the most appropriate to be further development. So here you can check the CAD model recreation of the selected model. You have also here the sketch to see how it would be placed in the in the face of the baby with the help of, of an hydrocolloid hat, uh, hydrocolloid pad and a hat. Um, to finish, I would like to, to point some conclusions that are that the proposed device is based in a nasal cannula and makes it possible to provide oxygen to babies. It might avoid the formation of ulcers and the irritation in the skin of the babies, as it is not in contact with the septum and uses hydrocolloid patches. It combines nebulization with oxygen therapy and makes possible to feed the baby, administer all the drugs, use a pacifier or nebulize without removing the device. Finally, I would like to thank you for your attention, and if you have any question, do not hesitate to drop me an email.